I don't think that any of the things that are happening to the male population are accidental. I think that keeping us as docile as possible is very interesting for the people who are in charge of the world because we're the warrior class. At the end of the day, it's going to boil down to the men who are going to stand up and actually do something about anything at some point of, at some point in time. So I think they like the idea of us being docile. And I mean, how much more docile can you get than a man staring, sitting there looking at a screen, not even want to reproduce for real because he's just staring at a screen? And I think that's just a next stage in the slave mind. And it's everywhere now. Instagram is pornography. I open my Instagram and I've got Emily Rojkowski's butt cheeks. Yeah. And I'm not a man, so I don't have that same yeah. biological reaction to seeing it. But I can only imagine how difficult it is for a man when you open an app and you've got Kim Kardashian offering her body to Emily Rojkowski. Even if you're walking down the street, I've realized even how desensitized I've become to pornography because you see an ad for Gucci and for whatever reason, she's got to be completely naked while she's holding the bag. I remember in my lifetime, I remember in my lifetime, there were music videos that got censored or banned or can only be played after 10 or 11 at night. And if you watch them now, you'd be like, what? For what? What is that? A bikini? Like, it's nothing. It's amazing how quickly it has degenerated. And yeah, absolutely. And we're all degenerating with it. Like, well, like I've realized the fact that I don't have a reaction to seeing the half-naked woman holding a Gucci bag yep. means that I have been desensitized to pornography. And I can only imagine what that does to men. Oh, completely. And it's this is what the powers that be want. They want to make sure that the male populace is as docile as possible. And they do that with a, a large array of weapons. And they do that with a web of tools. And I believe that I'm the counter to that, which is the reason I ended up attacked in the first place. But unfortunately, when you buy into the slave man mind programming, you do not become the kind of man who can easily attract a, a woman because you're not attractive to females as a whole. So how do you satisfy yourself? You end up sitting there staring at a screen and they convince you that's a good life to live as a man and that's perfectly fine and perfectly normal. And you don't even get to genetically reproduce. I do also though, and I want to make this clear, I do believe in absolute and utter self-accountability as a man. I think as a man, everything that happens to you is your fault. Me going to jail was my fault. Me being attacked online was my fault. If all these bad things that happened to me, I will take responsibility for, even if I believe they were unfair or unjust. And I think that any man who's going to sit there and say, I'm, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, he also needs to wake up and understand that if you're going to truly struggle to not click on a website, then you're going to deserve the terrible life you're going to live. And the devil or the matrix or whoever you want to call them are going to fill your life with temptations. They're going to fill your life with easy way outs that they're going to, they're going to want you to take because the good road is usually the hardest road. And if you're going to continue to fall for them, then you're going to have to suffer the consequences of that. It's double-edged. It's certainly difficult that pornography is everywhere and men are struggling with it. But to me, what's even more upsetting is that these men don't have enough fortitude and enough mental strength to wake up and say, I'm better than that. When you attack a man's mental fortitude on one issue, you attack it on all issues. This is why it's done purposefully. To resist a slave mind, you need to be able to resist in the first place. How can you resist a slave mind if you have no physicality, you have no willpower, no ability to mentally resist anything? Well, then what you're going to end up doing, you're going to end up eating the bugs and watching the porn and sitting in front of your computer. And that's what they want from you. So I think that it's actually all very interconnected. People come at me with the porn problem. What should I do? I struggle with pornography. And I say, that's because you have nothing else in your life in order. If you were in good physical condition and you had the money you were supposed to have and you had the mentality you were supposed to have, you wouldn't need it. So the reason you're so addicted to porn is because everything else in your life is a failure. Yeah, it's certainly a complicated issue. It's a difficult one. And this is why they fear male agency so much, because when men truly wake up and decide to be the best versions of themselves, they're hard to control because all these control mechanisms fall by the wayside. They don't want the porn anymore. They don't want the antidepressants anymore. They don't want the garbage anymore. And now you have a whole bunch of men who actually want truth and honor and respect, and they want to live for something. And then what are they going to live for? They're going to want to be brave. They're going to want to do the right thing, regardless of how dangerous it may be for their own personal circumstance. And that sounds like a difficult population to enslave. And that's, that's what's scary.